Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on Angular. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can set different classes or CSS styles to a particular division based on a particular conditions. As you can see here, I have applied a green color background to this division based on the status of complete. Suppose if the status is in review, the background color will be automatically set to orange color. Similarly, if the status is complete, then the color will be automatically changed to green. This is very useful in scenarios such as where you are fetching data from database and those are based on the conditions or statuses like this, where you can apply different styles like this or you can hide or show based on the status as well. So let's see how we can apply different styles based on the conditions. As you can see here, I have created a new component conditional classes and that is the only component which I have in my application now. So and you can see in browser that we have simple text that is the basic text generated by the Angular application while creating a component. Let me replace this default text with some of the content which we can be shown in the our component. I have added one header and a paragraph within the paragraph i have a dummy content here let me save this one and go back to browser you can observe that there is one header and content here and let me add another header here h4 within this one i will add text as current status is i'm going to fetch the status from the ts file Usually status will be stored in any one of the array or it may be fetched from the database. For this example, I am adding the status in this current status variable. I will add as draft one. Before applying the styles, let me bring this one into our application using string interpolation. So now we have current status which is added into our header four. Let me go back to browser and you can observe that we are able to fetch the status. If you change this one to in review, you can observe that one that is dynamically getting fetched from our TypeScript file. Similarly, we can define other state as well. As we want to apply different styles or classes to this particular header for, we need to have a different classes defined in our CSS file. The CSS file for this component is created here. Within this one, let me add three different classes for three different status. This is a hexadecimal color for yellow. So I'm going to define this one for draft. So whenever the status is in draft mode, I want to apply a background color of yellow. Similarly, for in review, I will have a class in review and I will add a background color orange. Similarly, we'll have another class, final class that is complete. And if the status is incomplete, I want to make background color as green. So we can define RGB colors or hexadecimal colors. As now we have defined the classes, the final step would be we need to link these to the header for that should be dynamic based on the current status. In Angular, we have a predefined directive ng class, which will help us to add dynamic classes based on our requirement. So you can use this ng class and define classes dynamically here. Within this one, you need to define the classes based on the conditions. So first thing we need to add is you need to add the class. So this is the CSS class which we have defined in our CSS file here. So this should be applied when our current status is equals to draft. So this is a condition you need to add it here. So whenever our current status which is defined in TypeScript file is draft, so then automatically this class will be applied from our CSS file. Similarly, to apply another condition just add comma and then define in review so this is the class which need to be applied to this header for 
whenever our current status is equals to in review state and the final one is we have another class that is for complete so this should be applied whenever our current status is equals to complete so this should apply the styles based on our condition if our current status is in draft draft css style should be applied similarly if current status is in review in review class should be applied and if it is complete complete class should be applied as our current status is defined as in review in typescript file as soon i save this file orange color background should be applied to this particular header 4 so let me save this file and go back to browser and you can observe as soon browser refreshes a background color of orange is applied here similarly if you change the status to draft and save the file go back to browser you can observe yellow background is applied and if it is complete a green color background is applied here this is a simple concept of conditional classes which can be used in angular in many scenarios or requirements in our application that's it guys for this video thank you for watching this if you like this video please subscribe to my channel click on like button and share it to others